Ever found yourself scanning through countless recipes, only to be disheartened by the high sugar content that's not suitable for a diabetic diet? It's a familiar struggle, isn't it? When living with diabetes, maintaining a low sugar diet is crucial. Yet this can often feel like a severe limitation, especially when it comes to desserts. Just imagine a world where you can't indulge in a slice of cake without worrying about your sugar levels. Quite a bitter pill to swallow, right? Don't despair though, because we have the perfect solution for you. Imagine a cake that not only satisfies your sweet tooth, but also aligns with your dietary needs. Sounds impossible, right? But it isn't. Let's dive into the world of diabetic-friendly cakes that won't spike your blood sugar levels. Our first recipe is a delectable chocolate avocado cake. You heard it right, avocado. It's a great source of healthy fats and fiber. For this recipe, you'll need ripe avocados, unsweetened cocoa powder, whole wheat flour, baking powder, baking soda, a pinch of salt, and a sugar substitute of your choice. The richness of the avocado pairs wonderfully with the deep dark chocolate, resulting in a moist, fluffy cake that's just as indulgent as its traditional counterpart. Next up, we have a refreshing lemon blueberry loaf that's perfect for a light dessert or a midday snack. This recipe calls for whole wheat flour, baking powder, a sugar substitute, fresh blueberries, lemon zest, and a hint of vanilla extract. The tangy lemons and sweet blueberries make a delightful combination, and the whole wheat flour adds a nice hearty texture. Both these recipes are not just low in sugar, but also high in fiber, making them a guilt-free treat for those watching their sugar intake. Remember, the key is to choose high-quality, nutrient-dense ingredients that won't cause a rapid rise in blood sugar levels. By swapping out high-sugar ingredients with healthier alternatives, you can still enjoy your favorite desserts without compromising on your health. Now that you have your recipes, it's time to get baking. Start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. While the oven is heating, mix all your dry ingredients in one bowl and the wet ingredients in another. Once you've done this, slowly combine the two. Remember, don't overmix as it can make your cake dense. Once your batter is ready, pour it into your cake tin. Make sure to evenly distribute it to ensure it bakes uniformly. Slide it into the preheated oven and set your timer. For these recipes, you'll want to bake them for about 25 to 30 minutes. But don't just rely on the timer. Use a toothpick or a cake tester. If it comes out clean, your cake is done. Let your cake cool before removing it from the tin. This will help it keep its shape and avoid crumbling. And there you have it, your very own diabetic-friendly cakes. So, who said living with diabetes means you can't enjoy a slice of cake? We've journeyed through the struggle of finding diabetic-friendly dessert recipes and discovered two delicious solutions. We've guided you through the baking process, underlining the importance of precise ingredient measures and mindful substitutions. Now, you're equipped with the tools to create your own diabetic-friendly cakes. Remember, a diabetic diet doesn't mean you have to give up on your favorite desserts. It's all about making the right choices. Happy baking!